Um, so my name is Drew. I spent a long time in Boston. Uh, this is Fenway Park. They do a thing in Fenway Park where they sing. Although I grew up in Boston, baseball was never my true love. Uh, the thing that I really love to watch is people playing video games, people who are very, very good at playing video games. Uh, they don't play in Fenway Park. They play in stadiums that look like this. This is the Key Arena in Seattle. Um, I wasn't here, sadly, uh, but you can see there's like stage, a stage up there. There's five people on each team. There's a bunch of screens and a lot of people watching. Uh, the game that they play looks like this. Uh, that guy there earned a million dollars by being right there and clicking a button. It was amazing. <laughs> uh, it was the million dollar dream coil, they called it. Uh, so when I watch this, I'm not there. It's not on TV. Uh, I watch on a site called Twitch. And the thing that's weird about Twitch is that when you're watching, there's a chat room. So it's not that... Uh, this is not a chat room the way you're used to a chat room. There's not conversations going on here because there are tens to hundreds to many hundreds of thousands of people watching at the same time. So this is just a screenshot I took uh, today, I think, and there's 20,000 people watching this right now. That's relatively low for these kinds of events. And when you get this many people together, they do all kinds of weird things. So they love to sing, so you can't hear it, but they're playing Let Go on the audio track. And everybody just like spams the chat room. And they love these little graphical guys. Uh, that's the theme. And you see some people like trying other things. Like they're trying to say, let it go, Bulba. That's the name of a player that they like. So there's this kind of like iteration that happens. People will shout things into the chat room. Some things take off. And you'll just see it scrolling like crazy. I have some screenshots of that later. But it's just like unbelievable massive amounts of text. And it's often the same text or some like slight variant of the text. Uh, they also love to sing along with the song. This is a very simple song. I don't know if you know Sandstorm. There's this guy named Darud. It's like a late 90s techno kind of hit. Like no one really loves this song, but chat loves this song. Uh, and that's the refrain is do 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 do. And if you just watch, just like it flies by. Uh, It's, it's a little weird. Um, chat also likes to dance. Uh, so people like copy and paste these weird like dancing emoticons in chat when music is playing. Uh, there's also, you'll see other people trying to chat in the middle and like there's little crying faces. They're like complaining that this is what's happening in their chat room. Um, there's also these like graphical emoticons that people really like. Uh, these are Twitch specific, but basically people on the screen have a cutout of this little image that happens in chat. And when it's on screen, then everybody just spams the chat room. They're like, I love that the image that I can make in the chat room is something that I can see on the video. Okay, so that's all just like weird, right? Now, what I think is really interesting about this is this question of spam versus what I think of as cheering. Like, I would basically place all of that behavior in the cheering category. It's like when people are at Fenway Park and they all know the words to the song, right? Like, they know what they're supposed to do as the crowd. And that's collective action, right? It's like people getting together and doing a thing at the same time. They all know what they're supposed to do. That feels great, right? Like, that's like a really primal human thing to do. But what's interesting is that in chat rooms, there's only one channel. Like, no one in a stadium is like, like, why are you singing along to this song? Like, I want to talk to my friend, and you're singing Sweet Caroline. Like, you're an asshole. Like, that's not what happens. But in the chat room, that happens constantly. And so there's this, like, really interesting social contest that goes on between people who want to spam chat like that and people who think that that's wrong and they should have, like, a reasoned, like, discourse around the quality of the gameplay. And obviously the spammers win, but... 
it's interesting to see how people construct, like what it means to be in a chat room, right? Because we've been in chat rooms that have 100 people in them, and we have nice conversations, or 10 people, or whatever. Like chat is as old as like computing technology. It's like the first thing people made when you had two people on a computer was, I want to talk to the other person. But something crazy happens when you put 100,000 people in a room, and you lose that ability, but you gain this other ability, which is we can all do the same thing at the same time, and we feel connected. Uh, I think that's awesome. So that's it.